I'm Lindsay Heathfield, I'm the Street Sport Project Manager. Street Sport's been running for uh, nearly four years now. Um, street Sport's about engaging young people through positive activity and sport. We have a whole range of activities where a mobile team of street sport leaders go out all across North Lincolnshire delivering, as you can see we've got the skate park here today, it's really popular BMX bike and skateboards, but we also do things like football, cricket, rugby, rounders, a whole array, lots of things like tri-golf, rocket ball, some of the more unusual um, sports to engage particularly in the girls as well. Um, to skateboard, it's really good, a lot of ramps, and um, a lot more stuff basically. I like it because I like, get to mingle with other people and like make new friends, like Chloe and Harry, and like you get to go on the rafts and be yourself. <laughs> I like it because it gets you off the street right. and it means you're not yeah, sat at home. Right. You're not sat at home on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, normally wouldn't meet on street sport is a multi-agency approach it's about engaging kids looking at the other agencies that are involved um, trying to get referrals into the project and a huge part of it is about new participants developing into future sport leaders they go on to become volunteers we've got six young volunteers that they team with us now they go on to do some coaching qualifications things like first aid safeguarding and they hopefully will become on to be future jobs fund or to be street sport leaders um, we've already got two street sport future jobs fund guys with us already they're actually producing this dvd for us. Well, and uh, I work for North Lincolnshire Council as street sport assistant. I've been working for uh, street sport about two and a half months now, and basically I became a volunteer for street sport up until a job opportunity came up, and then obviously I got this job and it's progressing further and further now. I think, to be honest, I've become a more relaxed sort of person. You know, like um, before, I used to be really uptight. Whereas street sport, it just helped me for two hours. You can come here, and it's just a release. It's just you can come down, you can see your mates, and to be honest, it, it does give you a lot of skills, just in general life skills, really. It's been very, very beneficial to me as a person because North Lincolnshire Council offer a lot of training courses. They get you very well trained, and it's a very good job opportunity. For example, working with kids like behind myself here, and it, yeah, it's a very good opportunity opens a lot of doors in the future. Street Sports is a community-based project. I've been on the steering group of Street Sports since it um, started um, launching it three years ago. Um, the benefit of Street Sports is that the events actually are held within the community and where the young people are congregating and meeting. Um, it has a knock-on effect on the Friday and the Saturday night especially because those young people aren't hanging out on the streets and they're actively engaged street in Street Sports events have certainly helped us and seen our calls for service reduced. Not so much on the crime side but certainly on the antisocial behaviour side where we were getting reports of congregating youth young people congregating, not necessarily doing anything wrong, but obviously hanging about on the street corners. And one of the biggest complaints we had when we spoke with those young people were having nothing to do and nothing to actually actively be involved in, especially on a Friday night. And street sports is it, an excellent scheme and I would highly recommend it for any area. Years ago as well, and um, I used to play football and we used to do cricket. 
bit of rounders, bit of kick rounders, quality. Oh, lads down here, brilliant. There's not a great deal to do around here, but when, when they come, it's you know it's good activity for the little ones especially. I mean, you've got a lot of them coming through, playing football. You know they love it. They love when they score a goal, you can see the look on the face and that when scoring goals, they love it. Okay, wait for my whistle till you start going. Remember, it's all over the area. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> number number one's right way up. Number two's upside down. Keep moving, go, go, go. Move around, just stay on the same spot. Yes. He said, move, Holly. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there, stop. Uh, we've noticed with the uh, PCOs, they've uh, informed us that. Uh, on the nights at Street Sports Area, the antisocial behaviour that we have encountered has actually fallen back dramatically. Uh, also, we, uh, we, we have a look round, you see that it's well attended, it's been well attended and it's, it's been an absolute huge success. And it's, it's really good for the area. Ready? Go! Slowly, slow wins the race this one. I'm back again. Don't knock each other over there. Oh, oh we've got to Okay, so uh, we start at five o'clock where we meet at Houston House and get all our equipment. We'll come down to the uh, relevant venue, so here's that tonight's Bulls Field, and start and do a six till eight session. Just before that, we'll get all this equipment ready, all, this, all the floodlights and things like that, set up for the session, ready to start at six, register it, and all the kids are getting all the consent forms into any new individuals. We'll then do a, a brief warm up here. We do like things like bulldog and things like that to get them warm because it's a cold evening. We're going to then get into the main part of the session where we'll do a variety of different sports like your golf your crickets, your rounders, and things like that that all the little kids enjoy, and the older ones. And uh, then we'll help to get the volunteers to help and the casuals to help with anything if they're down here. 